Hi friends, I'm Parwaze and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can build a simple web browser using ChatGPT, Python and also PyQt6. So right now uh, you will know about ChatGPT and uh, so in here uh, this is my account and uh, I'm going to just uh, uh, in here uh, I can just uh, write that build a simple browser with Python and PyQt6. Okay, as you know that PyQt is a GUI library for Python programming language that you can create a graphical user, graphical user interface application. So you can see to build a simple browser with Python and PyQt6, you can use Q Web Engine View class, which is provided by PyQt6. And here is an example of basic browser implementation. And there is a simple code for that. I will describe this code. But for right now, uh, let's just wait that. Uh, it's writing the code for us and it is writing the code for building of uh, a simple uh, web browser, GUI web browser uh, in Python programming language. Okay, so you can see that uh, we don't need to write any code in here. Um, Chat GPT make it easy. And you can see. So it's doing it's creating a complete uh, web browser for us so you can see that it's creating the view box layout for us or vertical box layout and I will describe this code but for right now let's just wait that it's doing, uh, it's creating for us. Okay, so now this code creates a simple browser window that has a Q web engine view for displaying web pages, a Q line edit for entering URLs, and several Q push buttons for navigating between pages. The browser starts by loading the Google homepage and allows the user to navigate to other pages by entering URLs into address bar or clicking the go button. Okay, so the back and forward buttons allow the user to navigate to previously visited pages. You will need to have PyQt6 and PyQt Web Engine installed to run this code. So now let's copy this code and uh, let's just copy the code and let's just. So right now you can see that uh, I already have created a project at name of Chat GPT Tutorial in my PyCharm ID. And right click, I want to cr just create a new Python file and let me just call it simple browser. And in here, I'm going to paste the code in here. And if you see in here, we need, according to the chat GPT, uh, to run this code, we need, uh, we should have PyQt6 and also PyQt Web Engine. Now, by default, we don't have PyQt Web Engine inside PyQt6. Now, first, we need to just install this. So let me just copy this and I'm going to just paste that in here and I'm using a virtual environment and let's just wait for the installation. Alright, now PyQt6 has been installed, the latest version of PyQt, that's PyQt6.4. Now what we need to install, we need to install PyQt Web Engine, okay? So according to the chat GPT, so PyQt6 Web Engine and we can just copy this and in here I can just paste it and let's just wait for this installation. After the installation, I will talk about these libraries, okay? So now the PyQt6 web engine has been also installed and now we have the required libraries for building of our web browser. Now we don't have any error. Now let me just describe this code. At the top, if you see it's importing says and from PyQt6 uh, uh, dot Qt core module, it's importing QURL. And from the Qt Web Engine widgets, widgets, it's importing Q Web Engine View and also Q Web Engine Page. And also uh, in here, if you see, uh, uh, okay. So now I think, uh, okay. So okay. So I think we don't need this Q Web Engine Page. So let me just remove this. And now in here, you can see that it's uh, creating a class browser that uh, x that's extending from the q widget module 
and we have our init and also super uh, and here it's uh, setting the window title and in here it's creating the web engine view now by default it's loading the google.com using the uh, web uh, dot load Q URL and after that it's creating a Q line edit for us okay so for example if we want to add our own address for example facebook.com or google.com then we can add that in the line edit okay and also there is a signal that's called return press dot connect now what it means it means for example when we write something uh, for example in the uh, line edit or in the U uh, for example www.google.com and if we hit enter then it will open that for us okay now that's because because we have a return pressed signal that's attached to the SKU line edit after that we have some push buttons for example Q push button go and also we have a clicked signal that is connected with the load page it's loading page so we will talk about this uh, method and we have a back button and it is connected to the web view back slot we have clicked signal and also it has a forward button and it is connected to the web view dot forward now this back and forward it is already uh, 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 we don't need to create this because it is in our web view uh, the back forward and also we will have refresh okay so in here we don't have that and in here it's creating the layout uh, to layout we have a vbox layout now it will be our main layout after that we have an edge box layout now inside the edge box layout or horizontal box layout it's adding the buttons the four buttons the uh, three button uh, with the others bar and also uh, it's uh, after that it's adding uh, you can see that uh, cell dot layout dot add layout after that it's adding this edge box layout to the this vbox layout and at the end it is setting this vbox layout to the main window and this is the uh, load page that in here it's uh, first it's getting the text from the others bar or from the line edit that we have in here so from here first it's getting that and after that it if uh, there is not http it's connecting the https with that and after that it's loading that and here we are just uh, creating our application uh, we are instantiating our browser we want to show our browser now in here if i just run this let me just run this and okay so you can see that it's selling that q application object has no attribute execute now this execute is related to pyqt5 and if you're using pyqt5 then it's working there's no problem if you're using pyqt6 then you need to remove this okay now in pyqt6 that's duplicated and we can use it like this now let's just run it so now you can see that by default it has opened the google for us okay and now i can just add uh www dot or www dot facebook uh, dot com and if i hit enter also you can see i can okay now this is this enter is this return press signal that we have in here okay so return press if we don't have this then it will not work and now you can see that we have facebook i can just go back now it's google i can just forward it will go back to the facebook.com and i can just go back also this is also working okay so uh, for example if i click on go uh, you will see that it is uh the facebook.com and also the enter is working because in here we are using return press signal and for those we are using click signal you can see that how easily we have created our code using chat gpt and you can see that using this we have created our simple web browser after that we have installed the libraries that we need also it's mentioning and this is our simple browser and we have done this so please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the video and also you can see that in here in portal i have uh, forgot to say it's importing from qt widgets q application vbox layout uh, hbox layout line edit q push button and q widget